Hello, Hello YouTube. YouTube. Welcome back to our kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking one of hubby and I favorites. Tuna melts. Stay tuned. Okay guys, these are the ingredients that we are going to need to do our tuna melts. Of course, we're going to start off with whole white albacore tuna. Then um, you're going to also need a good low-fat mayo. Um, we're using a low-fat mayo with olive oil and cracked pepper. Delicious. Um, also, we're using cheddar cheese. Then we also have some fresh celery, red onions, tomatoes, and fresh parsley. And most of all, you know you're gonna need bread. A so good bread. Um, we're using an Italian bread here. A nice Italian bread and a baking sheet. So, let's get started. First, I'm gonna start by cutting up two tablespoons of fresh parsley. Now I'm going to cut up a quarter cup of celery. Now we need a fourth of a cup of red onions. Now here is the fun part. I'm going to bring all hubby's hard work together. We're going to start off first with the tuna. And of course, like I said, this is a white albacore tuna. Since it's whole, I have to chop it up a little bit. And just kind of take your spoon and kind of knead into it. Get the chunks out. Oh, by the way guys, make sure that you heat your oven to broiler. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. Okay, so we got that tuna all chopped up. We're going to start now with our red onions. Okay. Our celery. Then our parsley. And we're going to add this great creamy mayo here. Now I had about two cans of the white albacore tuna. And I'm mixing, guys. I had about two cans of the white albacore tuna and a half a cup of mayo. But I kind of still, you know, measure as I go. Just chop that up. Wow, it smells great. Okay. One of the ingredients that we did not mention is that we have also some cracked black pepper. I'm going to go a little light because we have black pepper in the mayo like I mentioned earlier. But I don't think they ever have too much black pepper. Alright, now so we have our tuna mixed here. That looks just great. Next we're going to take these nice big rustic pieces of Italian bread and put it in our preheated oven. Um, like I said, you put it on your broiler and we're going to let it um, just brown. Just let it brown. You have to flip it over um, one minute on each side. And then we're going to come back and we're going to finish making our tuna melt. Okay guys, see you in a little bit. Okay guys, let me be clear because hubby brought it to my attention. I did say a minute in the oven for the bread. But the bread is going to be in there a total of one minute. 30 seconds of browning on each side. So you're going to put it in 30 seconds, let it brown, flip it 30 seconds, take it out. 
We have our bread here, nice and brown. Now we're going to make our tuna melts. Honey, can you come help me? We're ready to dress this bread. First thing we're gonna do is put our tuna on the bread. And place it right back on the baking sheet. Here. Let's get that up. We have our tuna on our bread. And guys, you can use the bread of your choice. Like I said, we're using here Italian bread but you can use the bread of your choice. Next, we're gonna put in on the tomatoes. Okay, and finally, we're going to top this with some cheddar cheese. Again, this is where you can put your favorite cheese. And guess what? Back to the oven it goes. And this time, all we need to make sure mm -hmm. is your cheese melts. I need a bit more cheese on this. I like cheese. Yeah, Dad, we can tell. We're about to put these back into the oven. Honey, can you go and put them in no, there? No, put them in there. Until the cheese melts, okay? All right. Okay, guys. Guess what? Look at this. I've taken them right out the oven and they are perfect. Nice and hot tuna melts. Enjoy.